Hello guys, welcome back to another Carl Punk video. And today we're going to talk about the warrior. And the first time we actually see him in the trailer is when he goes up to the NPC and picks up a quest. And uh, we actually see him pick up a quest and after that quest he picks up, he's actually already going to a well, what we can call a island. Um what is it called? A strand, you know, an island where he faces three skeleton warriors. Before we go into the details on the combat that he's going to enter in two seconds, and also talk about his very quickly and changing how did he get from full armor to a bath suit. That's kind of weird. But let's go into his spell before we actually talk about him. So we have seen his action bars and they look actually like this. He has a Q, W, E and R. Ignore the D and F because they are not, they are not spell, well, class specified. They are actually spec specified. Well, not spec, that was wrong said. They are items slash some other, it's, it's probably those spells on D and F is not class specific. Those spells can be used by any of the classes in the game. It's like in League of Legends where you have to summon the spells. So let's talk now about the spells he has as a hero. So in this video here, we can see the Q spell is actually a spell that reminds me of World of Warcraft as a warrior with heroic strike. It's pretty much you use Q and he strikes the target he's attacking with a very much damage. His W is like Bladestorm, also a World of Warcraft reference. It's like Bladestorm, well, also Warcraft 3 reference. So basically, pretty much, he just spins around and, you know, you spin me around, blah, blah. And he deals damage to everyone. His E is a charge, where he basically charged the enemy. And his R is his cooldown. Everyone have a spell on the R, and that's the cooldown. His cooldown is about, I think it's 95 seconds, and he goes in rage. We don't know what it does, but I mean, pretty much every warrior that goes in rage mode deals some kind of a double damage or 100% critical strike. So that's probably what it does. I mean, he goes totally red in rage and he one shot a healer in the clip later, we will see. So I think that's damage boost. But if you ask me, this is a typical warrior we have seen from other games. He actually reminds me really a lot of Garen from League of Legends. But also um, a barbarian from Diablo or a warrior from World of Warcraft. I mean, pretty much any spell he have there is what a World of Warcraft warrior has. But let's go through some of the details. So we see him first in one of the small places where he's getting introduced and he's taking a quest. The next thing we see is actually he's moving up to this place here. It's very important now that we see that when he goes into combat, if you see this, so he goes into combat and here he used his Q. If you look very closely, if we go back a bit in the time, and now if we just do a little slow motion on it, you can see here he auto attacks and now he used his Q ability and slash. And it looks like he's actually attacking everyone in front of him really cool i like that detail then that one is dead did you see that he also used his e ability where he's charging slow motion charge do you like that and then he goes into attack and pretty much boom 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 that is the clip we are seeing here and then he goes to attack on this one here and dies and now you probably ask me but dwarlin how do we know this no W spell is actually the whirlwind or the blade storm. Well, that's really cool asking because another episode he uploaded, the the news episode one, he's talking about the attack speed in the game, and he's so nice to us that he actually showed another spell here. So he's going to attack the same exactly enemies as you can see in this clip in slow motion. He uses his E as the first, didn't he? I, I thought he used his E ability. Now he's starting with just an auto attack. Then he used his Q ability where he's slashing two enemies at the same time. And then look closely, look his E ability where he charge and boom, he used his W that is a blade storm. 
and now he's using his Bladestorm and everyone takes damage around him and you know it's a AoE spell. So again he reminds me of a warrior from World of Warcraft, he reminds me of Garen from League of Legends, he reminds me of the Barbarian from Diablo. They have really gotten all the best things a warrior can get in the game and put them in to this. So Callpunk, you did a really good job. Excellent, I love this character. If it's not because I'm addicted to playing healers, I would definitely main this guy as he's probably the most coolest warrior with all the standard warrior spells. So thumbs up, 10 out of 10 from my, from my side on this character. You have done an excellent job. Next part we have seen is that, well, I, I like this scene here. This scene here, they pretty much just showcasing that you can grind stuff, but I like this scene here where he, he's chucking some wood down and it just looks so good, you know, he's just a warrior with some, he actually reminds me, this this scene here is actually reminds me a bit of, um, if we look closely to him, it actually reminds me, this scene reminds me of uh, <laughs> uh, the Witcher. He has like like some kind of a leather gear on and he has this sword on his back. So this, I, I don't know, this scene here just reminds me of the Witcher. I don't know why, it's, it's, it's a nice scene. The next thing here we see is he's actually sm smiting his weapon and we can see he's creating something we call, isn't it called the Shake Sword? And so I guess, uh, I, I don't really know if the Shake Sword is like in League of Legends where it's like a relic, an artifact, um, and that's the weapon, or if the weapon type is called a Shake Sword. I, I couldn't believe, I don't think that. I just think it's this weapon here. This weapon is called Shake Sword. The funny part about this video here is that he's, he's actually getting his weapon, he puts it on, he's using Transmog, and then in the end of the video, well, okay, I clipped that out. Uh, let me just get that together here. Ah, okay, I've removed it. But what we see in the end is basically he's using his R ability. As you can see in this clip here, if we zoom in a little bit, is he's going totally red enraged. And if you look closely in his action bar, He's actually used his R spell just now. And I think I, I was wrong. He This spell actually has a... Yeah, it has an 85 second cooldown. And we don't know what it does. And it's really cool. Actually, I think it is not 85. I think it's 90. Because you can see the buff. You can see the buff just atop of his health bar here that it has actually already have been used 25% of its time. So if you take 85 and additionally 25% on top of it, you will get exactly the same seconds amount that we actually are getting of the spell. So just some interest, interesting facts. And so we, we exactly now know all his spell, that we know exactly that the Q is, is a normal attack while slicing everyone in front of him like a cleave. W is Bladestorm, E is Charging, R is Enrage, and D, F can always be changed. And that's up to you. It's just based on whatever you, you're doing. Basically, this next clip here is showing that he's using Enrage, and they are now, now planning to go down and attack these guys down here. It's actually quite interesting if we just stuff up it. It's quite interesting. When you see him attacking here, it's actually quite dumb. He used his enrage spell up there because you can see now it's gone. He doesn't have the glowing effect. Well, ah, it actually looks like he still had the glowing effect around him. But he pretty much charges this healer here, attacks him with, yeah, pretty much one attack and then he the healer dies. So again, guys, protect your healers. So yeah. And he one shot that guy with his Q ability. I, I just saw that, that was a Q ability. Um, pretty cool scene, yeah. So I I, I like this one. Um, this character here looks f so freaking awesome. It's it's the perfect warrior dream in any MMORPG. This guy here. Um, so I really hope also the orc and the paladin is going to be the same. And it's actually quite quite fun with this scene here because we actually have the warrior standing here. We have the where 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 is he? Oh yeah, 
Here he is, the Orc. And he can also either have a spec with a two-handed axe, or he can have this do this shield and sword spec ish. And you have the what is he? There he is, the Paladin with the big two-handed mace. It's quite interesting because now we have well all these different characters um, that is used. You know, we have like an orc warrior, we have like a human warrior, and we have like a human paladin that can be in retribution. I really hope he has a healing spec as an off spec. That would be so cool. The next scenes pretty much in this is basically just they're going through a dungeon. Um, so yeah, so we know everything about this guy now. Well, his first spec, and his first spec again is going to be this two-handed sword warrior spec. And in this dungeon here, he actually is the tank. You can only be four in a party in a, in the PVE, twelve to twenty in raids. But we can see here he's pretty much the tank. But I don't know. I mean, they're going to have tank healer support and damage in this game. Um, maybe they did this dungeon without any tank and they were like, we don't need a tank, we can do this. And then he pretty much right, right now gets one shot and like, okay, he died. Um, so it's like, was he was he actually a tank or did, did they go into this group without a tank? I'm, I'm actually really curious to know, was there a tank here or was there not a tank? Um, because personally, if you ask me, it's super cool if he's a tank with a two-handed sword that's that's like a blood death knight in world of warcraft it's super i love tanks with a two-handed weapon it's so cool sometimes it's cool to have tanks without shield because it's just different you know we like different it's like having a paladin healer with a two-handed weapon also that's really cool having a mage with a sword on his back also really cool because we always used to have this staff on the back but you know what i'm off topic so pretty much guys, with this is um, the perfect warrior for any game. Totally nice. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about this guy? Is he going to be the one you're going to main? Or is he not going to be the one you're going to main? If you ask me, I'll not going to main him, but that's because I love healers and I'm going to play a healer. So if you ask me, I'm probably going to be the guy either down here, the druid guy or the paladin guy. It depends on if one of them have a healing spec, but I love paladins or druids, so you probably won't be one of them. But I'm not going to be the. Uh, I think I will try to stay away from the laser girl. Um, she looks nice and cool and really awesome, but I just really want to have my paladin or druid healer. So, but yeah, this was the video about our little warrior friend. Thanks for watching, everyone. Leave down a comment. Let me know. Are you hyped for Core Punk? Thanks for watching. Peace out and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.